today to bring you the new Durkee cap frame from Durkee Hoops. As you can see, I have the new frame here, and this is the multi-needle version. It has an anodized mainframe and stainless steel arms and a very large sewing field, which measures five and a half by six inches. You get a much larger sewing field than with traditional cap frames at a fraction of the cost. Now let me show you how easy it is to use the new cap frame. All I've done is gotten my favorite sticky stabilizer and I've removed the protective film and I attached a piece on the back just larger than the sewing field. And then what you want to do is you want to loosen up the screws and grab your favorite cap. You need to make sure when sewing caps that you get this band and turn it under as to not stitch on that band. You want to place the bill of the cap up under the top plate, making sure that the band of the cap is turned down. Now the Durkee cap frame comes with two vertical slots on the front and on the back of the frame for perfect alignment. You want to make sure that the center line of your cap is aligned with both of these slots. The top plate has alignment guides on it for, for consistent hooping. When you get your hat centered, all you need to do is tighten down the two screws and you're ready to take the frame to your machine. I've brought the cap frame to my machine and I'll attach it to my machine. The Durkee cap frame attaches to your machine just like any other frame would. Now I've selected my design and I'm going to stitch a monogram on this cap. I like monograms very large and you're able to stitch a very large monogram in the large sewing field using the Durkee frame whereas you're not able to do that with traditional cap frames. What you want to do is you want to check your needle position top, bottom, right, and left. I like to stitch about three quarters of an inch up from the seam where the bill meets the cap. Okay, now we're ready to stitch. As you can see, I've got the machine running at 900 stitches per minute, and with the Durkee cap frame, there's no vibration or bouncing around of the frame. Now that the machine has finished stitching, all I need to do is remove the hoop from the machine and take it to my work table. Let me show you how easy it is to remove your cap from the Durkee cap frame. All you need to do is loosen the screws and pull your cap away from your sticky stabilizer. And your cap slides right out. An added bonus with the Durkee cap frame is that you can easily stitch on the back of the cap as well as the front. Let me show you how easy it is to do. With stitching on the back of the cap using the Durkee cap frame, you have quite a few options. You may hoop the cap, the back of it, by putting the tabs in under the top plate as I have done here and we're going to stitch over the arch. That's one way to do it, but let me show you another way. Here I've chosen to turn the cap around. I've placed the bill under the top plate once again and I'm going to stitch above the arch, the opening of the cap, and I'm going to take it to my machine and demonstrate your options that you have. I've brought the cap frame to the machine and let me discuss with you several options. 
If you have a baby lock or a brother six needle or 10 needle machine, you have options here. The side arms for the cat frames and all frames for baby lock and brother are identical. They're interchangeable. You can stitch right side up or upside down. For other machine makes and models, you would attach the frame according to your manufacturer's instructions in one direction. Now I prefer to turn the cap frame this way and stitch so I can read what I'm stitching. I will be stitching right side up. I've selected my design to stitch over the opening or the arch of the back of the cap and I have marked it with just a little um, water soluble marker there but you align your design on your machine. Now we're ready to stitch. And just like that, in a matter of minutes, we have monogrammed the front of a cap and also embroidered the back of a cap. As you can see, it's super quick and easy to add embroidery to the back of the cap, just like it is to the front. Now I'll remove the cap from the cap frame. I know that you will enjoy your new Durkee cap frame as much as I do. Remember that all Durkee hoops come with a lifetime replacement warranty. Thank you for joining us.